It's getting closer to midnight I try to get closer to you Drinking courage from my red cup now I will soon make a move Hey everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Sarah Beth and this is Sarah Beth Vlogs. In today's video, I am going to be doing a little DIY with you and we are going to turn some ugly baskets, I guess they're ugly Christmas baskets, into cute, chic, farmhouse, adorable baskets. So let me show you what we're working with. So now you can see my supplies for this craft. I've got three different kinds of ribbon, jute twine, raffia, and chalk white spray paint. I got all of these from Hobby Lobby, and let's get started. So the first thing you'll see me do after I show you the baskets up close and personal is remove the ribbon from the front of both the baskets. Then I'm going to take them outside and spray paint them. So now I'm outside and I'm spraying the first of many coats of spray paint on the outside of the baskets. Addison was filming me, so go Addison. And it really took a lot more than what I had anticipated and I let it dry so it was actually several days in between. So that's one reason this video is a little later than I would like uh, getting out to you, but I do hope you enjoy it. And I hope that this also inspires you that if you have something laying around your house that you're like, mm, that's dated, it doesn't look like me, you can take some ribbon and some spray paint and some hot glue and girl or guy, whoever's watching this, it'll change your life. Maybe not your life, but it might change the, the look of a really cute basket and make it something that you enjoy. First, I didn't think about it. We'll get back to the basket in just a minute, but I had a request on my Instagram poll that I made for the month of January requesting videos, and my friends responded that they wanted to see some low carb recipes. So I thought that I would include a meal that Adam and I really enjoy eating, and I'm the one who eats low carb. He eats what I make, and he also enjoys this recipe, but his smile there made me giggle. Um, I'm going to include some side dishes too so that you can see how we enjoy this. My kids boycott onions and will not eat anything with onions in it. So this is a recipe that just he and I enjoy. I double it so that we can both eat on it throughout the week. But I will include the full recipe in the description. So I hope that you'll check that out. If you're interested, it is so delicious. I promise not to wear you out with too much voiceover during this video, but before I get too far ahead of myself, I wanted to let you know the casserole that I am making for dinner this night is called White Castle Casserole. So if you like White Castle hamburgers and you're trying to eat low carb, that's something you can't have, but with this casserole, you can. It's delicious. Adam on the stove was browning some ground beef and cooking a little bit of onion at the same time. We cook it till the beef is cooked all the way through and then the onion is translucent. You drain the meat and then we'll combine the wet ingredients that I'm working on and the meat mixture together. We love this. 
And for our side dish over there on the stove, you saw some sliced squash and some onion and a little butter. We love that and we just cook it until it's all soft. And a little bit later, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite side dishes. It's steamed broccoli, but I have a little trick to how I cook it and it is so yummy. You got what I need effortlessly Let me know you want it With you I can breathe that goes so deep Let me know, let me know cause I can't lie let me know, let me know, cause I need you I'd let you take my breath away Pick me up like you're my aeroplane, aeroplane You and me, you know, will never be Come on, baby, we've got rules to break, rules to break to show you how I made the bows to go on my baskets. I'm using the wire ended ribbon, three different kinds from Hobby Lobby to make this bow. And it's so simple. I don't know why I've not been doing this my whole life. You take your ribbon, measure out the length that you want, and then you simply crisscross them, make X's and layer them in the order that you want them to be or to appear in your bow. And you tie them together. That's it, so simple. Now, I did not measure the exact length that I needed, so I did have to cut my ribbon a couple more times to get it to the right length. I would suggest measuring it, do unlike me, and then you'll just have to cut one time. But on the edges of the ribbon, I did cut little triangle wedges out so that it would be quote unquote fancy. Tell me in the comments if you make homemade bows for gifts or for projects in your home. I'd love to know if this is a method that you guys use or if you think that you would like to use it in the future. Let me know. So lucky to be yours. Sometimes, Mama, you gotta let your Roomba do a little work to help you out, and it's okay. This is my clip showing you that my Harry Styles had to help me out this day. Now, this is my favorite side dish. It's steamed broccoli. Simple, I know. But I took two heads of fresh broccoli. Is it a head of broccoli? I think so. Anyways, chopped it up. I didn't use much of the stem because I don't care for the stem and I add a little chicken broth instead of water to give it a little extra flavor and then a tiny bit of butter, maybe two tablespoons. You can see I spilled the chicken broth everywhere. But if you put that in your microwave for a few minutes, let it steam and cook and get soft, it is absolutely delicious. Simple, delicious, that's what I need in my life. What about you?
Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, it's finally time to reveal the basket makeover. If you've made it to this portion of the video, please leave me a snowman emoji so that I can thank you personally for spending time with me today. I love the way this basket turned out, but I would love to hear from you and you tell me what you think. If your opinion's different from mine, that is a-okay. It makes the world go round, all of us being different. So let me know in the comments what you think of the basket. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the red subscribe button so that you can join my YouTube family and not miss out on future content that I create. I post weekly and I would love for you to be here. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I hope you have a great week. It's a shame that my hands are shaking.